friends, brothers and sisters in Christ. In today's readings, we get inspiration from the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 32 to 35. We get the testimony and witness of the first early Christians, the followers of Christ. They were with Christ. They learned how to do good and to be good, and they were going around also doing what their master was doing, spreading good news, healing, and uplifting others. And now that the master had risen, and he was no longer physically with them, but he had left the spirit, these first early Christian communities allowed themselves to be moved by the spirit which is inside them, to move them. Because when the spirit is in us, it moves us. It takes us on fire to love, to move, to do good. And this is what they do that they allow the spirit that is in them to move them to do good. And what were they doing? They are, first of all, putting everything in common, working together, as considering each other as brothers and sisters. Of course, in any other family, there are challenges, there are problems, there are fights, but they were always reconciling and considering each other as brothers and sisters. So they were working together, living together, even in the challenges, uplifting each other, encouraging each other, journeying together, and making life beautiful together. And whatever goods they got, apart from being together, whatever goods they got from their works, they put in common. They were sharing everything in common and nobody was lacking. Everybody who needed had something. Nobody has too much. Nobody had went without anything. Everybody had something. And I think in today's society, this is what we need. There are many people who accumulate a lot of things. At the end of it all, they die with them in their hands. And it's, they have huge amounts of money in the banks. I don't know, huge properties here and there. And yet, when their neighbors or even their relatives were suffering and they were not there for them, how I wish we would follow the example of the early Christians who worked together, who put everything in common together, who prayed together, who journeyed together. Nobody lacked anything. May we also live our lives so well together so that nobody lacks anything. As also an African proverb says that when we want to go fast, go alone. But when we want to go together, go together if we want to go far go together you want to go fast go alone you want to go far go together so our aim is to help each other go far and in order to go far we are invited to go together and when we go together we will go through every challenge every problem they will, they will be there of course there will be many beautiful things but we we'll go through every challenge every problem and we will know how to come out of it because we are together we are supporting each other in the good times but we are also supporting each other in the challenging times but when we are alone even a small problem will be a big mountain we will look empty and will not have anywhere to come out I pray for you, my brother, my sister, that we keep learning to move together, to journey together as brothers and sisters, as a family who have the same spirit, who have the same father, who has the same mother, Mary, who have the same brother, Jesus Christ, that we may continue journeying together, learning from the Lord himself, who embraced all as they are and was there for everyone. May we also learn from the first early Christian community who were there for each other. We may not have everything, but whatever we have, we are invited to throw it and put it for the good of others. It may be physical gifts, material gifts, spiritual gifts, intellectual gifts, psychological gifts, moral gifts. Whatever gifts it is, we are invited to throw it on the, in the family, in the community, wherever we are, so that it might multiply and be more, do good more. It multiply like fire to do good more to the many people around us. That will be your contribution, my brother, my sister, when you don't sit on your talents, but when you give out the best of your talents, your gifts, however small they are, that's even how they grow, when we are able to pour them out and share them with our brothers and sisters. And today's society needs you and me to share our gifts, our talents, however small they are. Almighty God. Dear friends, one beautiful thing to still highlight is the fact that the company of those who believed, the believers in the early Christian community, were of one mind and one heart, one soul, meaning they were thinking the same way, though they were different. They were of one heart.
they were feeling the same way as brothers and sisters though they are different they were one soul they were living the same way together as brothers and sisters though they each one is different my brother my sister we have a lot to learn from the early christian community in our families in our communities do we have the same thought the same mind do we put things together on the table to discuss them however complicated they may be however beautiful they may be whatever direction the things that we are discussing are do we talk about small issues and big issues so that at the end of it all we think the same way we discern together we help each other to know the right way to act having listened to each other or it's just a man one person decides or two people decide and the others are left out no the disciples threw their minds together they put in their thinking together they listened to each other they were there to share ideas and finally to make a, a good conclusion that is what we do in discernment when we are discerning to know the right way to go to know the right words to say to know the right action to do we often put our thoughts together and that's what we should do as the disciples did they were different they not look at the difference of each other as a threat or as a problem but they looked at the difference of each other as an, an a richness that we are able to learn from whatever opinions that are coming from others that then finally we make a conclusion and a decision together which is mature they were one mind one heart they were feeling with each other meaning somebody was struggling in life they were there for each other in the family in the community this is what we do ask ourselves do we feel with each other are we of one heart do we uh, is our heart on fire do we feel with each other do we feel rejoice with those who are rejoicing and suffer with those who are suffering do we journey with each other especially those who, whose journey is strong whose journey is long and difficult and painful are we there for each other when others journeys are painful they were of one soul meaning their life was one it's like one blood the soul is the essence of the human person that which makes the human person a human person they their soul was one they had that humanness in them they treated each other as human beings do we treat each other as human beings though we are different dear friends may the lord help us always and everywhere to be of one mind one heart one soul to each and every one and to share these gifts of our heart to feel with others to think with others and to be there for each other as human beings blessings blessings from jerusalem dear friends almighty god bless you dear friends from here jerusalem as we continue journeying together as a family as a community sharing together everything that we have building each other up and the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mm -hmm.